Today I've got my hands on a cool little product from Razer. It's called the turret and it's aptly named because if it works well we should finally never have to move again. The turret is a small all-in-one mouse, keyboard and mouse pad designed so you can comfortably use your PC from the couch desk free. A couple of months ago I looked at the Corsair Lapdog which served a similar purpose but in a very different way. The laptop was big, padded, bulky, and you need to supply your own mouse and keyboard. The turret is small, thin, wireless, and includes everything you need to start controlling your PC immediately. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Let's take a closer look. The turret's body is a 10 keyless laptop style chiclet keyboard with the mouse pad attached. There's no backlighting on this bad boy, and those that hate laptop keyboards will probably hate this thing too, to be honest. In an effort to save space, a lot of the keys aren't standard size either, and the arrow keys are crammed into the bottom corner. Overall, it's just under 21 inches long and 4.8 inches wide, so it will fit on even the smallest of laps. For me, this makes it suitable for convenient couch browsing, but any sort of decent gaming is a real stretch. The fold-out mouse pad is convenient, though left-handed users can write this one off. It's stuck on the right-hand side. The surface is a nice, smooth plastic and it felt nice under the included mouse which is extremely similar in design to the Orochi Bluetooth mouse that I take around with my laptop. The only difference is that it foregoes the rubber grips on the side and the RGB lighting which I'm sure most users can do without. This is an ambidextrous mouse but as mentioned the mouse pad is stuck on the right hand side so that feature is a little redundant. I love me a mechanical keyboard but sometimes I actually don't mind the speed and responsiveness of the little chiclets. It's a big shift from a full size mechanical keyboard but I didn't find the turret keyboard too bad to use especially for just browsing around as mentioned. One issue I found using it on my lap was that with the mouse pad folded out you kind of have to have the keyboard off center due to the way it balances. This wasn't too much of an issue for the most part and I actually ended up using it on my coffee table rather than my lap a fair bit anyway, but this isn't really what it's designed for. The wireless performance of the turret was good and you've got the option to choose between Bluetooth or using the included 2.4GHz dongle to connect the device to your PC. I didn't have any issues with the signal at all and I'm so glad wireless tech has come so far over the last decade. Battery life is rated at 40 hours on the mouse which might be a little lacking and 4 months on the keyboard which is obviously plenty. The turret comes with its own charging station too, which holds the mouse and keyboard vertically and this looks pretty cool in my opinion. Razer's Synapse software is used to control the turret and as we know it's a well polished suite. All of the keys on the keyboard are programmable and as always you can set profiles for different games and applications. The mouse's DPI can also be adjusted anywhere from 200 to 3500 which should be adequate for large resolutions. The turret is a really cool product overall, but for me, it's not something I'd really use very often or be happy spending a lot of money on. Sure, it's an elegant solution for those that like to browse from their couch, but I really find my cheapo Logitech wireless mouse and keyboard on the coffee table almost as satisfactory. The built-in mouse pad is a nice touch, as is the charging dock, but for me, playing any games other than the absolutely most casual would really be too much of a pain on the compromised keyboard and very small mouse pad. There's really not much of a comparison to the Corsair Lapdog I mentioned at the start of the review. For me, they serve very different functions. The Lapdog has a solid crack at being a legit couch gaming solution, while the turret suits browsing very well and very casual gaming too. Like almost all Razer products, it does look nice and the build quality feels good as always. Coming in at $150 on Amazon, it's the same price as the Lapdog, except you don't need to supply your own mouse and keyboard after that, so it's really a much more cost effective solution. My wireless mouse and keyboard in the living room is 25 Australian dollars though, and in Australia the turret is $220, so whether it's worth paying nearly $200 more for is really up in the air. What do you guys use in the living room? Let me know in the comments, I'm your host Matt as always, and I'll see you guys next time. YouTubers like me depend on your support to continue improving the quality and content of our videos. To support the channel directly, consider becoming a patron to also get access to a heap of cool rewards and exclusive giveaways. Also, don't forget you can check prices and buy the products I looked at in this video through the Amazon links in the video description below. Thank you kindly for supporting me and the Hardware Unbox channel, it means a lot to me and I really do appreciate it, and in return I'll continue to work as hard as I can to keep producing the content you enjoy.